Hi, welcome back to Neural Splendor. Uh, tonight I'm coming to you from my new office. It's not new to me, but it's new to you. And this is where I do the editing of the videos and my equipment is. So I'll probably be doing the videos from here in the future because it's just easier. And right now in Ohio, it's a lot warmer. So a uh, welcome. So tonight we're going to talk about diesel exhaust fluid. We're going to talk about its specifications, the tank that it goes in a little bit and storing it and a little bit about it's uh, being safe with it. So DEF fluid is just urea and water in a mixture of 32.5% urea to water by weight. You can be 0.7 plus or minus off of that 32.5 and the, the fluid will still allow the system to work correctly. There is a quality sensor in a depth tank. If that 32.5 gets too far out of spec, it'll log a fault code on it. Uh, you can also end up with SCR system efficiency faults if the depth fluid is not at the right spec. Depth fluid freezes at 11 degrees Fahrenheit. It should be stored at 23 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. If stored at those temperatures, kept out of sunlight, and it's in a sealed container, its shelf life is 18 months. If you store it longer than that, you'll need to check the concentration. You can use a refractometer to check that. The part number is on the monitor in the back behind me. You can get that from Cummins. That's a Cummins part number. There are probably other companies that make refractometers. So uh, if you need to get one, just pick one up at the best, you know, the best price you can find. Uh, Def fluid should be stored in the container that it comes in. If the container has a paper cover over the lid, like sometimes you see on the older antifreeze bottles where you don't have the foil, make sure that's not degrading and coming apart because if it does, it falls into the def and that causes problems with contamination. The DEF fluid needs to be kept clean. Your DEF tank on your vehicle needs to be kept clean. Uh, if you use a funnel to put DEF in, if the container you have doesn't have that, uh, that uh, f nozzle on it that's flexible, if you have to have a funnel, keep the funnel clean. Put it in a plastic bag or container that you can seal up so that you don't get dirt in it. I would say the number one reason that we've had to change DEF pumps is that enough dirt got in them that they couldn't maintain the proper pressures. And so then the fault, fault codes come and you have to replace the pump because you really can't clean out the damage that happens. So keep that clean. Store DEF in the container that it came in. You can also store it in stainless steel if it's grade 316. Any other container, it's not a good idea to store it. Other metals aluminum or steel that has braze or solder or, or uh, weld, it, the fluid is, is slightly um, corrosive, so it can cause corrosion problems in those other containers. So keep it in a container that it came in. Uh, if it freezes, it's not a big deal. It will thaw out. If it freezes in your vehicle, it's not a big deal. The systems are made to have def freeze in them. The important thing is that the pump is able to evacuate all the DEF out of the lines and out of itself before the system shuts down. So remember when you shut your key off, you hear that kind of motor running noise, that slight hum, that's your DEF pump running and it's running and now instead of building pressure, it is actually pulling fluid out of the system and pushing it back to the DEF tank. And if it's able to successfully do that, you will not have any problem with the DEF freezing. The tank that it's in is made to expand when it freezes, and all the components that are in the tank are made to be uh, submerged in frozen DEF if that happens. It'll thaw, it'll be just fine. You can go through freeze and cool cycles. It doesn't shorten shelf life on your vehicle because you're actually using it, so it doesn't have time for it to get damaged. Uh, the last thing I'll say about DEF is uh, it can cause irritation to your skin and your eyes. If you get it in your eyes, you need to flush them out with water, of course. Just wash your hands off 
with soap and water if you get it on your hands, and you should be fine. Thanks for joining me on Neural Splendor. See you next time.